Hello. Good afternoon, or maybe it's good evening, I don't know. Um, well, what have I been doing? Well, today I've been to Manchester. My niece is off school. When I say off school, I don't mean she's off school like a schoolgirl. <laughs> she's uh, actually a deputy head teacher, but she's off school. So uh, every now and again, she takes me into Manchester. I belong to um, a mobility scheme called Shop Mobility in Manchester. And I can uh, get a scooter through there if I book up in advance and you know, put my name down for one. Never tried it at the weekend, so I imagine it's very busy then. Anyway, what have I been doing? Um, well, I bought quite a few bits and pieces when I was in town, but mostly they were toiletries and, you know, stuff for cleaning the house with. <laughs> so you don't want to, I don't want to bore you with that. I actually bought myself a, a new eyeshadow palette. As you can see, very bold colours, because I'm a very bold person. <laughs> natural is me, natural, natural. And um, I was going to show my mascara to you, but I happen to have picked up Instead, I've picked up my black marker. <laughs> anyway, I bought a brown mascara. Why I buy brown is that I find it difficult to get brown local. Um, it's always black wherever I go, just black mascara. And I did buy a brown one, although it's not that, that's a black marker. <laughs> that I've been using to write up um, a parcel label. So if Nancy, if you're watching, your parcel has gone, it's on its way. And uh, also what came yesterday was some more toggles. You probably can't see them very well. Because they're in this little, they come in little sweet little bags, don't they? Well, they're sweet little bags until I can't get in them. There we go. I was a bit dubious about buying these because they were described as a, crack, a crackled burnt orange. With actual fact, I would call it more of a light brown. But I do like my toddles and when I see a bargain, I get them. Yeah. I'm talking about bargains. <laughs> You know, on my no buy, I went into pound stretcher. I suppose it's equivalent to Dollar Tree, maybe, in the States. And they have this, I'm not saying it's good quality, but it's value. <laughs> and they had this wool, and it's, um, whoop! <laughs> I can't even show it you because it's falling out of my bag. This one, I've just ripped the label on it, so that's a good start, isn't it? It's just a um, just an ordinary uh, double knitted. It's not the softest double knitted in the world, but it's a pound a ball, but you can get three for two pounds. So I got 12 of that one, and I got 12 in that one, and I got, I think it was six of these six of those which is destined for my um, my great niece Abigail so I've got those so that was my today bargain and then um, whoop. <laughs> do you know it's not my day is it today with this falling on me this is to show you that I've got me me Addy out of the garage <laughs> I put it away you know because I wasn't using it a small addy. It's set up in the other room. I haven't, well apart from a little trial run just to show Janica how it worked yesterday. I'm intending to do some fingerless mitts. If you follow Margaret Olander, she was she sharing, she was doing a pattern for fingerless mittens. So that's what I got it out for, to do some of those. Well you've seen that, you've seen that. Oh on the makeup line I was going to buy some myself some face cream and my niece said oh don't buy any face cream she says I got some and it's too like greasy because her, her skin isn't dry like mine I mean mine's so dry that when I put you know makeup on it well found her, what do you call it face cream anyway <laughs> in about an hour later I feel like I haven't got any on I have to put more on it's my skin's so very dry so she gave me that which is a day cream and a night cream so thank you very much Vic so, and also I decided what I was going to do. you remember me saying I was going to crochet to a video by Una? It's a top-down cardigan, or whatever you want to call it, a sweater as you call them. I call them a cardigan because they separate in the middle. 
and it's uh, top down and it's done in a v-stitch and uh, I went looking in my stash and I found this red heart it's sort of like a a grape colour I don't know what they call it plum dark plum it's very very much like a Victoria plum but darker and if you knew how much I'd paid for this on eBay you would faint because as I said before I mean I have found different places to get it from now that's a bit cheaper but the time I bought this there was no red heart anywhere to be found in the UK at all and talk about pay all of the odds for that it should be should be gold it should be made of gold that uh, what else have I done oh I found my blocking boards also known as children's play mats <laughs> got six of these because I need to block that pink shawl that I was showing you the other day and what else have I got oh uh, I'll show you what I'm crocheting at the moment as you know I usually like to crochet one thing at once but I may break the habit of a lifetime to start that um, the grape cardigan you know because it's um, I'll have to start it when I'm in here and I'm on the computer um, this is going to be a jacket not for me it's just going to be for my Etsy's uh, hey, hey. <sighs> teeth in Etsy shop it's actually made with oh, it's called Peyton's Morocco and it's a silk it's very silky it's like a mixture of lemons and cream silk I don't know whether you can see the silk in it there it's, uh, what is it now? Cotton, polyester, polyamide and acrylic. So it's got cotton in it as well. So I think the cotton's probably the lemon blobby bits in the wool. Very technical speak, isn't it? Blobby bits. And the... That's a nice silky bit. I mean, it's actually coming up. I don't know what the fronts are going to come like because it's actually coming in half a row of stripes you know like there's two rows of the lemon bit there and then it's two rows of the cream bit over there I've got an awful feeling it'll probably be striped on the fronts because the fronts will only be half the size won't they the pattern I am doing I am actually doing it to the pattern hooray <laughs> not done any adaptations I'm doing it to the pattern and it's a king cold double knitted it's a newish pattern so even if you live in the States, you should be able to get hold of it. It's a 3654 is the number of it. And that's what I'm, I'm making. I'm making the jacket. But there's also a vest on the same pattern. Now you might recognise it as being one that I was wearing the other day, although I had put a different stitch pattern at the bottom of it. I was wearing one in like purple and green and cream, was sort of flecky. Uh, so I'd done that but I'd actually done it all in one for me I'd cast it so long not done back and two fronts but because the pattern I was doing wouldn't, doesn't sew up very well you know down the side seams so I did mine all in one but I decided to do this to the pattern and stop annoying people because <laughs> when I say well I did this but I didn't do it like that and I did it like this and so I thought I'll try not to annoy people <laughs> Uh, this is another one, well I think it's a bargain that I got from um, oops, I mean eBay it's vintage yarn again because I love the vintage yarn it's filled out, I used to sell filled out when I had a shop many many years ago and this one I think it's 100% cotton, it certainly feels it yes it's 100% cotton it feels a little bit on the rough side but um, you know it's a nice firm cotton in sort of like a it's not olive green really it's more like a deep deep grass green and I got uh, 10 balls and it cost me 11 pound that was that with the postage added on so that's not bad because it was a heck of a lot more than a pound a ball when I used to stock it so I'm quite pleased with that one now this one looks for all the world like it's cotton but it's actually not it's acrylic but if I didn't tell you that you would feel it and think that it was cotton um, this is another of my bargains this cost me eight pounds that's with the postage to me and of course it was in a, you know an auction 
is called Peyton's Crystal. It's another discontinued one because I've had this in red and green as well uh, that I'd bought from Black Sheep at the time but this came from eBay and it's like a burnt orange shade but if I didn't tell you that was acrylic you would swear that that was cotton because it feels like cotton and it works like cotton and it actually splits like cotton um, so that's it really so I know I said I wasn't getting any more wool cotton, yarn, whatever you want to call it but there I am, I've got, uh, what, excuse me Buster, don't knock the, oh. <sighs> child, but I've now got what, 12, 24, 30 bottles of acrylic I've got in the house, 10 bowls of this, <laughs> and 10 bowls of that, so that's 34. I have brought 50 bowls of wool into the house since yesterday. Now if that's not buying yarn, I don't know what is, but in fairness, I am using up this which I've had for a while, <laughs> and I'm going to be using up this which I've had for a very long while. And hopefully once I get cranking on my little machine, I'm going to be um, Doing some fingerless mittens that'll be getting rid of some of them some buster we stop going underneath the desk there is no food under there he's sniffing under the desk in the hope that i've actually dropped a crumb of something but he's going to be very disappointed because there's nothing there and uh, i've got little hoover i haven't got little hoover today i've only got the big hoover today because i told them i was going to be out all day and I don't think it's fair, you know, saying I'm looking after someone's dog and then I'm going out for the day. So, you know, it wouldn't be fair. I mean, he was... <laughs> so just watching Buster, he's actually going to knock the, uh, knock the camera over before he's finished. Here we go. No, we missed it both times. <laughs> Getting better at manoeuvring is my boy. Considering he's got a cataract and... <laughs> He's not got a lot going for him, bless him, but I love him. Yes. And I think that's about it. And um, I was watching Erin's video the other day. And she was saying like, that she hadn't been knitting or hadn't been crocheting. And she hadn't made, you know, videos. She had a lot of things going on in her life. And I mean, I'm the same, really. I tend not to make a video if I've not got anything to show you in my crocheting or what I've been buying or something. And um, I mean, I don't know how you feel about that because Erin was asking people how they felt about it. Whether you'd still prefer us to make videos. I mean, Hayley hasn't made any videos for a while because she's been off her grocery. And I always kept saying to her, you know, people want to see you. Why don't you just pop on and do something? And she's like, oh, well, I will, I will, I will, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm the same. When people don't make a video for ages, I'm like, are they ill? What's wrong with them? You know, are they okay? I mean, some of my favourite people I used to watch a while ago I haven't made videos for absolutely ages. I mean, we're talking 12 months, 18 months. I mean, they probably just go off the whole idea of the crochet and what it is that they're doing, but I just wish that they would pop on and say, I'm here and I'm OK, I'm fine. Yes. Anyway, I think that's about it for the day. Um, when we went to town today, they were getting ready for the Chinese New Year and there was red lanterns. Uh, flying um well I said flying on the trees I mean twizzling around this way and twizzling around that way it did look nice I tried to take pictures in fact I did take three pictures but there's so much building renovation work going on that every time I tried to take a picture there's like sheeting and scaffolding you couldn't get a nice picture where there wasn't any building work in the way um and there'll also be more stalls they put some stalls up there was nothing on them at the moment There'll be more stalls there, apparently, my niece said, when it comes to Chinese New Year, which I think is starting on Sunday. I mean, I wouldn't even attempt to go down to Manchester then because it'll just be so crowded, you won't be able to move. I did used to go when I was fit and able. I used to love to take my friend's little boy, who is now in his second or third year at university, so that's how long ago it was. Um, we used to go down, you know, and see the dragons, the paper dragons and everything. It was a great parade. I mean, nothing like the ones that are in New York or anything like that, but it was a nice parade. And uh, it was just nice to be in the atmosphere and everything like that. 
Well, that's about it. Been catching up on a few videos, although I must admit, Pam, if you're watching, <laughs> I haven't looked at yours because I was in a bit of a rush and I looked at it. I thought 53 minutes. I thought, oh, no, I haven't got time. <laughs> And I still haven't got round to this guy, I don't know, I can't remember his name now, that um, Zoe loves, because his videos last about two hours. And I can't, my chair's uncomfortable, so I can't just sit there with my grocery. If I had a laptop, I could probably take it into the, or if I was technologically minded like Erin and Kristen, and I could play it through the TV or something, I'll be able to sit and watch them then, but until then, I have to scrunch up on me a computer chair and I get really bad backache. And I'm going to move off this chair because it's low down. I must be the only person who's got sofas and things in the house that they can't actually sit on. Because if I sit on them, I can't get up off them. <laughs> One day when I am rich. Pause for hysterical laughter there. When I win the lottery. Another pass for more hysterical la laughter. I will buy a sofa and chairs that actually are high enough for me to sit on and... Oh! And there's the beep 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 telling me that my dinner is ready. So that's a good cue, isn't it, for me to shut up and go away. So, nice to speak to you all again and I hope you're having a lovely day and bye for now.